Hey everybody, it is that time again for another house tutorial, this time specifically in the dark oak biome as you can see behind me. It's a kind of like a dark oak cottage feel, equipped with everything you could possibly need including farmland, uh, level 30 enchantment, bedding, crafting area, even a swing right over there on the right side of me. Uh, and I'll show you how to make this. Uh, it's not that hard once you do step by step and uh, hope you, hopefully you stick around for the tour at the end and uh, hope you like it. And here is the palette that I'll be using. Uh, obviously, this is not everything, but uh, stairs, half slabs, uh, trap doors of these kind of stuff will be used as well. Um, but yeah, you got your brick, you got your variety of stone, you got your uh, oak wood, and you have your dark oak, and you have your smooth sandstone. This here is your diagram for the build. Uh, the green and yellow is the walls. The black, red, and blue are support beams, and I'll go ahead and show you right real quick what those are. Uh, using stripped oak logs on the red squares, you will go up five uh, spaces up on every single one of these red spots. On the black spots, you will have go up the normal oak logs going up only four, and on the blue squares, these two here at the end are only going to go up three spaces like that. Go ahead and do the rest and we'll continue on from there. Now that you got all your beams set up, uh, we're going to go ahead and start building the cross beams to connect them all together. So using your stripped oak logs, go ahead and connect all the stripped oaks together. It should end up in a rectangle. The next, you're going to connect these uh, oak logs together by Making a cross beam across here, all the way across, like that. And then you're not going to connect these completely, you're only going to go about two out on both sides, like so. Alright, now that you got all those beams set up, we're going to go ahead and fill in the walls. First, starting with your bricks, we're getting the brick out of the way. You're going to have two brick walls. This space here is going to go up all the way up to where the stripped oak log is, up to five, all the way up, fill it in like that. And you're going to do the same thing on the opposite end. For the rest of the walls, you're going to be using your smooth sandstone, and you're going to fill it in where the yellow-green uh, wool is at, currently. Uh, however, uh, depending on where it is, uh, it depends on the height, so of course right here, you're going to go all, all the way up to the stripped oak log. However, over here it's a little bit more complicated. Here you're gonna go ahead and fill it up to where this oak log is hanging over. Here on this end, it's going up to the third, up to where this oak log is at. Now for the roof, we're gonna go ahead and place some oak planks and go up two in the middle here and one on each side. Do the same thing on the opposite end. Then, using your stripped oak log right here in the middle of this one, go up two spots. In the middle of here, go up one. Now, using your oak logs, you can go ahead and start making a top beam here, all the way across, and have a two block overhang on each side. And from there, we're going to use a stripped oak log on this part here, with no overhang, but all the way across. Go ahead and match that up there. And then take turns, the oak log. Now you probably don't need to do like back and forth because most <laughs> most of this is gonna be completely covered. Uh, but you should like that, and you do the same thing on this side here. For this part here, go ahead and make a oak log that goes all the way across, lining up with that part there. All right, and now for the actual roof, we're gonna be using dark oak stairs, and starting on this side, it's pretty darn simple. You just straight up all the way down to get this point. You're gonna have the two overhang as well all the way to the end. 
like so. And you can even go ahead and do it on the opposite end here like this to give it a little more thickness there. And you're gonna go ahead and go all the way across to the end here. All right, now that that side is done, we'll do this side. This one's gonna be a, li <laughs> a little bit different. Um, go ahead and place this top layer if you want, because this will be pretty much the same on the other side. Nothing's going to affect it. Uh, for this, it'll be easier just to use dark oak slabs for now, and then if you decide you want to do what I do next, you can, or you can leave it the same. So go ahead and use dark oak slabs, and you're basically just going to do one down each time, like so, all the way down. Let me just do this one layer so you have an idea. All the way down, it's about this point here. And you're going to do it all the way down the side, and the same all the way down this side. Alright, now that you got that covered up, this is something you can do if you want to. Um, you can replace every other layer with some stairs. And this, like I said, this is not um, something you have to do. This is just uh, a little extra detail you can add if you'd like to. Now I'm going to just do this all the way down, like I said, every other layer. So here, probably placed like so. Now you can go ahead and try to use this side to kind of like merge into it. So starting with this layer here, you can go ahead and take that all the way down. And I'll go ahead and extend that overhang. Get that out of the way. And then this can kind of go merge into this. Like that. And go ahead and do the flat slab there. And the flat slab there. We'll just do one side so you have an idea. Like that. And here I'm going to go ahead and just kind of turn it sideways so it kind of looks like it follows down that way. It's almost going to come in an angle like this and combine. Then you see this little spot here, you can go ahead and just like turn that to the side so it kind of covers that up. I might even use this one and change that to a stair. You can do that on the other side as well. And finally for this roof here, once again it's just a simple straight down stair. Uh, you're going to have this layer starting at the bottom if you want to. And you just kind of go all the way to the top. And I will probably put an overhang, like a one block overhang on each side as well. And it should do this right. It will not go all the way up. Uh, it will only go up to about this level here. So when you do this, yes, you will have a log exposed. That's perfectly fine. All right, and this should be your final product here on the roof. And now we have this bare log on top. We're going to uh, cover that up with some slabs and some trapdoors. I'm using oak. Now, if I haven't seen this before, you can. I would, if you have spruce, spruce would be look way better for this. Um, but because I'm challenging myself to um, only use blocks that is found in the dark oak forest, uh, I will not be using spruce. But if I, had, if I had all the blocks available to me, I would definitely use spruce instead of just about any of the oak blocks. Um, so if you have spruce, cool, use that. But uh, I'll be using oak for this set. So yeah, if you haven't noticed, I'm doing a trapdoor slab, uh, every other block, a pattern like that, all the way across. And you can cover this up with uh, using your trapdoor on all sides. Like so. Now to decorate the front, we're going to go ahead and place uh, three stone bricks. And for now, we're just going to go ahead and place, I don't know, like three layers right now. We'll, we'll change this later on. Uh, and that'll point out where the door is, right in the middle. And then using your dark oak planks, you can go all the way up, lining up with the logs. And then using some dark oak stairs, you can go ahead and do an upside down stair on either side like that and then add a dark tra oak trap door there in the middle give you a nice little arch then up here we're actually going to go ahead and place a row of dirt blocks there we're actually going to place a window probably right around that spot 
And then here we're going to go ahead and place a step and a full plank there, full plank and a step, like so. And then you can go ahead and place some trap doors to cover up those dirt blocks. We're going to place uh, trap doors right underneath where the step is on this uh, plank and the inside as well. And then we're actually going to go ahead and place another block right there at a step on both of those and add a dirt block along here and you can go ahead and cover those up with some trap doors and you can cover that up if you want as well then here I have, you can take these out and add a place a uh, stairway like so and one last thing, go ahead and place upside down stairs right there and that'll kind of give you a nice little column. And now you can place some plants in these blocks here and I'll place them here. I'm just going to go ahead and put some large ferns right there like that. And I'll place some, a couple lanterns here. I'm thinking we'll do a lantern there as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And of course you're going to place place a window right there as well. Alright, to start this back here, we're going to go ahead and place three windows right there in the middle. There. And then we're going to place a couple planks like that. And then from there you can go ahead and place some stairs. Use your slabs. Take it up one notch. And then use upside down stairs to cover that up. Down here, you can use whatever block you want because this will be covered up. Across like that. And we're going to place some grass blocks. You could actually make this bigger if you wanted to, make it um, uh, more plants, but I'm going to leave it uh, like that. Well, actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and do it just to see what it looks like. We'll put stairs there, and the stairs up on top of these logs like that, kind of giving you that little uh, oval shape. And then placing some trap doors along there. And then once again up here, you're going to place some dirt blocks. We're going to have a window there. Place trap doors underneath and on the side to cover the grass up. And on each, either side of these, you'll put a full plank. And then we're just going to place a uh, half slab along those there. All right, going back here to the bottom, we're going to go ahead and expand this out. I forgot to add those two dirt blocks there. And then we're going to go ahead and cover it up with the trap doors, like so. And then I'm just going to place some oak dark oak slabs there to fill that up. Yeah. And then on top here, which I forgot on the other side, we can place some trap doors along the side there. And then of course you can place and of course you can place a window to cover that there. So up here I'm just gonna place some grass blocks like that and down here. You know it might work actually to put grass blocks in the back end there. And then place, I don't know, it's like just some flowers like so you just kind of mix it up and figure out what you want to place all right on the side wall that's kind of plain right now we're gonna fix this up and add a porch a nice good size porch on here uh, first things first we're gonna go ahead and lower this down to one more spot by placing a oak log that just kind of goes underneath all the way to the end here and I can probably go out uh, one over or so and then go ahead and place more stairs uh, dark oak stairs to line that up all the way all right cool now from there we can go ahead and work on the flooring uh, using the strip dark oak wall you'll go out three spaces like that on both sides and then go ahead and place it all the way if you want to but in the middle we're actually going to take out the middle three and then to fill it in we can actually place some oak stairs here 
and then using your oak planks you can fill this in. Next we're going to go ahead and place some lining here. So where these columns are you can place some upside down stairs and in between here you'll put a couple slabs and then a trap door in the middle. So it kind of gives a nice little arc there. And then you're going to repeat the same thing kind of uh, oak slab on the other side and then a trap door. And over here oak slab trap door like so. And to cover up the rest of this we're going to place some up right side up stairs and trap doors. Now to get the uh, the top part of this porch, uh, right where this stripped oak log, you're going to place some oak slabs uh, going out like that on both sides. All right, and between these, we're actually going to go ahead and place some uh, two rows of campfire blocks, and then along the front of those, you can place some dark oak trap doors. And we'll go ahead and extinguish that unless you want a flaming uh, top of your porch. Yes, if you want that, it's perfectly cool. Oh, that one. And there's the top part there. Now to connect that, we're going to place cobblestone walls on the corners, and then dark oak fence gate that goes all the way to connect to the top, like so. And then we're also going to go ahead and just place a plain oak fence gate all the way to the top along both sides of these steps. And then you can fill in down here the railing with some fence gates. And then sitting up top here, between these columns, you can place more fence gates. And so for here in the middle, I'm gonna place a door here. I think I'm gonna replace all of this. And we're just gonna have some like big bay windows here on all sides. All right, and you can see here, I just kind of made some windows, some big windows here. You have a lot of space to see out. And uh, a oak door with some oak trap doors surrounding it. So when you're inside, you have just kind of a nice look out this, these windows here. as of course here as well. And yeah, down here, I just placed some uh, dark oak, oak flooring. I might change this to some better design. Uh, and of course, we'll work on interior design here soon. Um, but yeah, I think that is the entire house in the most basic of design and all we have left to do next is work on the interior um, I actually am thinking I'm gonna add a chimney to this part here as well but yeah uh, let's go ahead and do a little time lapse of the interior design and some exterior work and then we'll do a tour see you soon
is completely done. I think it looks freaking awesome, to be honest with you. So here we go in three, two, one, bam, here it is. I I think the exterior really, really makes it. Um, I wanted to make a path that goes across, almost like a road. Uh, so it's not only just a trail that goes up to the house, but a path that goes by the house as well. And uh, if you see here, if I float up here, you'll see a bunch of farmland. Um, so you have plenty of wheat. I even decided to make a little creek that runs through uh, the side of the house. And a little flower garden on the side. And just, oh, and I forgot. And I even added a little swing here for you. Uh, which is even able to sit in, I think. Yeah, here we go. Sit in the swing. Probably should start like this. Oh well. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and move on with the tour. Uh, and as like I said, as you see here, I will go ahead and take the outer right here first. Path that comes over here to the bridge. Uh, you can see the creek. And who knows where this path will go? Right now, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's that's that. Let's go ahead and head inside the building here through the porch. Uh, once again, I didn't really add anything on the board. I had some flower pots on the railings, but uh, you can do whatever you want on here, I guess. Gone through. It's actually kind of dark in here. I didn't have to add enough lights. So this typically is where the front door would be. And uh, just a little chest here. I thought I put a armor stand here, and that, that's typically where I would put it. So I don't know why that's not there now. Uh, you head on through here, got a nice green rug that kind of guides you to the crafting slash kitchen area. Uh, so nice little water it's sink area that's kind of empty. Got an anvil sitting right here uh, with a flower pot on top, extra storage on top here. Of course you have all your cooking stuff here. All three furnace, the uh, cooker and the oven there. And here is your mini little storage, organized storage. Just had a, little, a, a variety of back and forth between the, the normal chest and the barrels. And there's even barrels up there, but that's in the uh, upper floor part. But I guess you can easily just go here and go like doo 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 if you need to grab something, or you can cover that up with trapdoors if you like. Over here, an enchanting area, uh, level 30 enchantments, of course, and uh, you got your little grindstone there. Here is your little staircase that goes up to the second floor. It's more like an attic, I guess, but it's also a bedroom. I uh, need to add some lights over here, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's a little more storage, a little more boxes, stone cutter, a three triple bed here. So if you have some friends coming over, you can uh, uh, hang out in the same bed if you'd like, if you don't mind sharing the same bed. And uh, yeah, extra barrels hanging out under the floor here if you need it. Yeah, that is uh, that is the house. I think my interior is still not the greatest thing. I'm more of an exterior person. But uh, I think, I feel like I'm getting better. I'm not sure. What do you all think of this design? Uh, especially in the outer area. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, if you like this, uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. If you change your mind, you can unsubscribe later. And yeah, I hope to see you all in the uh, the next video. See you later.